The following program contains language, images, and or subject matter that may be objectionable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The New Media Zone! With your host, Welcome to the new Media Zone, and Dave here, and Dave with you, doing a special Class of 1980 show, because there's no films in the theaters. This is a show we're going to talk about, uh, we graduated 40 years ago, oh. uh, June 20th, 1980. Wow. I know for many years we smudged our ages, but... Uh, you can't smudge your age when you got one of these. You have the uh, quarantine growth there. I do. Very full. It is full and white <laughs> in spots. Apparently not on the sides, but just very white here. And who cares? Who cares? It's retirement caveman beard. Retirement caveman <laughs> COVID beard. <laughs> right. So what we're going to do, we're going to take, a, we got a lot of uh, pictures, we got some videos, we have memories. Uh, we don't know if this is going to be one or two shows as we start, but uh, we're just going to let it rip here. <laughs> we're going to go back in time, a time you apparently don't remember too much of. <laughs> I don't. As you were looking through the yearbook here, though, you came up with a couple of stories. I did. And you said you had no harassment stories. No. And, and you have one you're going to tell later. Oh, it's not, well, that wasn't really a harassment story. That was just a vicious <laughs> attack for some reason out of the blue. Well, I understand I had, that one. I had a few of those, too. Right. Uh, yeah, generally not uh, bullied, uh, but the stories of bad behavior by these, uh, uh, in quotes, uh, alumni of ours. Oh. <laughs> I guess they were alumni. Their, uh, their actions were in question here. They graduated, but they weren't too bright. <laughs> So where did you, uh, let's start with, um, well, before we start, let's, uh, <laughs> let's uh, draw the viewers in with a memory. We'll start at the end, and then we'll go back to the beginning. Okay. Uh, you uh, did have a couple of yearbooks that I you brought down. I do, from early days. This is from 74, 75, and then the actual, uh, that's a different school, obviously, and this is the actual yearbook of our Graduating class. Here, I'll read that. There you go. It's called the Rouge <laughs> for some reason. It's a what? Uh, what well, on the side? What was it called? <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, Rouge Tour. Mm. What? Uh, and uh, oh, uh, disclaim. Oh well, a couple things as we start the show. Mm -hmm. well, let's do. Uh, there's so much excitement. <laughs> here. Where do I start? Hey, the first. Well, keep going. <laughs> the first thing we have to dedicate the show to uh, the producer. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Jim Moore from our class, who produced all of the shows we've done, and we'll talk about later on, we'll get into that, what, what we're doing here, and why we've been doing this for pretty much 40 years. Yeah. But we got into it uh, mainly from him, and because of you, we got it on TV. So we'll go into that later. Okay. But uh, once, let's... Once again, something I vaguely remember. <laughs> I just remember a popcorn popper. On my head. Right. That's, that's the, our first show. Oh, okay. Let's start at the end of our graduation, though. You have the yearbooks. Do you have your yellow Class of 80 shirt, Dave? No. <laughs> you don't have this? No. All the names are... I don't know why I have it, actually. I don't I, know either. I think the last couple months of uh, high school were okay, but other than that... <laughs> As I look back, it's pretty much a nightmare. Oh, yeah, there I am down there. <laughs> they, I thought that uh, it was nice printing on there. They got all 520 names or whatever. That's impressive. It was right on there. I would never have worn this. But it's a good thing to keep. It's a keep shake. Uh, you, the, the moths have not gotten to this. No. That's you kept it in a special place. I kept it in my special T-shirt area. T-shirt area. All right. 
Is, is the, can I put this down now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, put it. I'll I'll put it back in the bag here put because we have other treats coming out. Oh, that、uh, was a treat, was it? <laughs> I guess that's、yeah. what it was. Okay.、Uh, also, we had a little trouble putting this show together because what we've done throughout the years, it's a media zone is a movie show, right? Where we look at the movies, but many times the high school years would come up on the show. And we would throw out the actual names of our,、uh, you know, fellow students, and you know, a lot of people got a kick out of them. We'll be doing that the wrestler story again, and Diane would get a kick out of the stories. What's the story? Is there a wrestler story? A specific wrestler story? A、uh, sort of story.、Uh, who said it? You? We both did. did we both we? commented on it, and she gets a kick out of it. I only remember. <laughs> the only thing I remember about. I mean, I know she had the the sister.、Mm-hmm. They were twins, right? But for some reason, Diane was the one that、uh, I liked. Uh huh. Well, I thought she was、uh, gorgeous. This is a time that why don't we just jump ahead and、okay. do the story, which is this? Okay. Just the basic story. They were they were twins. Yes. And this was apparently Colony Central's answer to、uh, Who do you like better, Ginger、oh. or Marianne? <laughs> Because some people like Sue、uh-huh. and some people like Diane. Now they were twins. Yes, they weren't exactly alike. Right, you could tell the difference. You could. There was a difference. Uh huh. But they had different personalities. Yes. Too. Yes. So there, we always did that.、Uh, talk I about. believe I sat next to Diane in one of my science classes. It may have been biology.、Um, I don't know what it was about her. I liked her. I just thought she was a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. Always liked Diane. So,、uh, and I remember bumping into her sister. I think who worked、um, for the local, the state government.、Mm-hmm. Um, many, many, many years later, but I remember seeing her sister a few times, and we、uh, chatted ever so briefly. Of course, she had no clue who I was because <laughs> I was not、uh, in the Sue fan club.、Uh-huh. I was、oh. in the Diane、oh. fan club. No, it's not. I didn't. It's not like I did not like Sue. Yeah, but I just didn't know Sue. <laughs>、yeah. I knew Diane. Right. And I always liked Diane, especially、mm-hmm. from biology. So, but as I looked through the yearbook,、mm-hmm. there were there seemed to be a bunch of other twins. Oh, I never in there. I, I did only, you study your yearbook I did carefully、not. for this I assignment? No, I, like I, as I said pre-production, did not know there was an assignment. I was only told to find yearbooks, and that's what I did. <laughs> not to go through them、oh, wow. and be mentally traumatized. So there were other twins, but it was this thing with, with which one do you like better,、oh. Diane or Sue Rizzler? <laughs> and you had to make a choice there, apparently. Now,、uh, as we said, <laughs> Diane and Sue numerous times here. We've told, we mentioned everybody's names throughout the years, but within the past couple of years, there have been incidences that, that have come to light and deaths, which make it more sensitive. Some、right. of our stories. So what we've decided to do is tell the stories. There are one or two things I will not mention any name. Okay. It's too too、uh, sensitive. Okay. But our editor on this show, because I have too many other shows to edit, Bob Bouchot, I trust him. <laughs> He's going to take the names out where appropriate. Okay. Okay. I, I can't. You know, I have to say some of the names so you'll know who I'm talking about,、mm-hmm. and if they have to be bleeped, you know. So、uh, that's how we're going ahead with this、uh, show here. Ooh, sounds like we're、uh, treading on some thin ice here. <laughs>、uh, oh, light-hearted story. Are they? Yes. Well, I don't have any horrible things. So, also a disclaimer: these were the seventies when the、uh, language was a little、uh, different,、mm. and、uh, you know, thoughts about certain people and ethnic and all this. It was a different time. So some of that's gonna. <laughs> Have to be cut out too, but the idea is gonna. I'm gonna do the best to relay the idea、mm-hmm. at, with some decorum, and then Bob, if if he feels needed, is gonna edit. That's how we're、right. approaching this.、Show. I'm glad you have faith in Bob. I, I don't know him well enough. <laughs>、um, now I was thinking we're going we're going back to Sand Creek here,、mm-hmm. which was、uh, 74 to 75. Right. Now apparently there were a lot of elementary schools coming together. I was in Maywood. Yes. You were in Roselleville. Correct. And then I asked some folks on Facebook where did they come from, and we have Colony Village. Oh, I went there. 
Did you go there? Was I went that? there for very early. That may have been like uh, uh, um, kindergarten or something. I don't know. But I remember Colony Village for one year and then Roselleville. Was there Colony after. Village on Central Ave yes. by Jim? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. Shaker Road, Saddlewood, Forest Park, Veter, and West Albany. Okay, yeah. yeah. Now, coming from Maywood, where there were maybe one or two <laughs> bad apples, or whatever you want to call them, a couple of bad kids, right. and even they, they weren't all that bad. But something happened when you throw all of these schools in together. Did you have one or two bad kids, or more? In Roselleville? Yeah. I don't remember. I remember Roselleville used to be basically across the street from my house on Central Avenue, the old building. Mm -hmm. And they had, and I've t relayed this story to many people who have since said to me, that's just, you're lying, that's not true. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> what they used to have was these underground tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> you, it is the truth. <laughs> Central Avenue, the main thoroughfare, mm -hmm. you know, in the day, they had these underground tunnels where you would walk to school if you lived within a certain area. Mm -hmm. And I was close enough. You'd walk up your street to Central Avenue. There'd be this big kind of like, I don't know, what would you call it? Just an entryway. It's almost cement. like a bunker. Yeah. A cement bunker. And you would walk down the stairs, under mm -hmm. the street, mm -hmm. and up the other side. And, then, and that's how I got to that school, I think, for like grade one through five. So I think Colony Village was kindergarten. One through five was uh, that school, which they then tore down and built another one near Colony High, mm -hmm. which I only went to for sixth grade. But the thing about the underground tunnels was it was a haven <laughs> for, for shenanigans. Mm -hmm. It was a haven for a good beating. <laughs> You're going to take a licking because... You know, them light bulbs up top, they break. <laughs> and, the, and the thugs like to hang out in the dark. <laughs> so what you did was at the top of the stairs, you stood there, you took a couple of deep breaths, and then you went as fast as you could. Sometimes that was a mistake because they trip you and you slide face first across the cement floor and then a good kick in here and there. Uh, and then they'd laugh as you walked out the other side bleeding. But that's, uh, it, was, uh, it was difficult. And then they finally sealed those up. Right, where were you, yours? Which school were that you That was going? Roselleville, which was okay. basically, you know, I don't know if you remember where the Kentucky Fried Chicken yes. is. Right there, that's, that okay. was the building. Because the Colony Village had the tunnels. Okay. And also Maywood had the tunnels, mm. the ones I went through and suffered with the broken glass above in the bunker, and there was some door on the side. I don't know where that went. <laughs> that was frightening. And the kids would uh, carry on down there. Oh, yeah. Although even as bad as that was, which wasn't that bad, it paled in comparison to what happened in Sand Creek, which we'll get to. But I'm glad you mentioned the tunnels. Mm -hmm. And they had big metal grates yes. on the front. Yep. And I shot, I would shoot Super 8 films. And I shot a Frankenstein one around the tunnel. <laughs> I put blood all over the tunnel. Someone got killed there. And we were done. We wrapped up. We went home. Then we got our bike set. We come down. The cops are out there <laughs> examining the blood on the tunnel. So uh, actual. They there sent was, it to the lab and found <laughs> out it was corn syrup <laughs> right. with red food coloring. So that's a shame. I don't have any pictures, though, of the tunnels. But they did close those up. I'm wondering what's under there. Is that tunnel still <laughs> under Central Ave? I just want to know who thought that was a good <laughs> idea. It was so the kids, there was no traffic of any kind in the 70s. But uh, they th thought it was a good idea for kids to go under the ground and get beat up. <laughs> Instead of getting by the struck by the occasional vehicle that would come by. Oh, well. Okay, we're going to take a look at the movie or movies and TV shows and the songs. You'll be going over some. Maybe we'll split them up. Okay. Well, that's coming up. But right now we're back in 1974, Dave. Are we? Going, uh, we're going into this new school. 
and we're thrown in with all these new people. Now, I was a quiet kid <laughs> in Maywood, mm -hmm. but towards the end, I had a lot of friends and birthday parties and Halloween parties and all the friends would come over. If anybody knows what happened with, to Mark Hubbard and Mike Pulaski, write in because uh, they seem to have disappeared. And so you're going into this sand creek and it was scary, Dave. <laughs> Were you scared going in there? Or um, only, I think I was slightly intimidated by the fact that it was the first time that you had to go like to different classes. Uh -huh. It was always one class, one teacher, all day. And then now you got like seven different teachers, seven or eight period, whatever it was. And that's the only thing I didn't like. And what I also didn't like, as I remember the first year, was uh, my uh, lunch period was like at 1.30. Some mm. weird late. It was like lunch, one class, go home. By the time you got to your, you know, fourth or fifth period, you're starving. You can't concentrate. All you hear is everyone's stomachs grumbling. And that was it. So that's the one I didn't like. And I, it was just weird because it was a big square. Yeah. That's all it was. It was just this big, like how many floors? Was it two or three? Yeah, I think it was two. And it was just this big square. And downstairs, I think, were the science labs or whatever. But yeah, that's all I seem to recall. It seemed like a very cheap, like prefab diner almost set up. It didn't seem as sturdy as Colony. And it seemed like cheap, and the room seemed dirty for some reason. Did it seem like... Jeez, you have such vivid memory. I remember. I'm lucky I remember going there at all. You keep talking about level of dirt. <laughs> uh, one thing I remembered before going to Sand Creek, we were instructed to bring some things with us, which they do today. You have to get pick up your crayons and whatever. Okay. I rem do you remember being told you had to go get a jock? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> yep. It was a very odd thing. It was a jock you were supposed to wear in this gym class you were supposed to take. Yep. It was supposed to protect from balls being thrown, I guess. And you were required to wear your jock. Yes. Not Jock Ewing from Dallas, <laughs> who would come a few years later. But. And speaking of the showers, oh, this was a whole new experience. Dave. It was. Did you have any bad times in the showers? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, not until I was about thirty-eight. Oh, okay. um, bad times in the showers. It's. Uh, it was. I. I don't know if my memory is even accurate, but it was. It wasn't like it was a main section with like four uh, shower heads sticking out. It was. In there, you know, it was uh, in the back, uh -huh. but there, it was all open. Mm -hmm. But you would walk in, and you go to the right. There's a shower head. You go to the left. There's a shower head. I just remember one of. The, I just remember taking those showers and thinking, oh, "This is <laughs> this is uncomfortable." <laughs> and even more uncomfortable was they the the physical ed teachers making it known to you that you had to take the shower. Mm. You couldn't bypass the shower. Your winky was coming out, and you were taking that shower. And no matter how shy or inhibited you may have been, you're taking the shower. So I remember, you know, going in, and everyone, and, and just, and the teacher walking back and forth, making sure everyone's in the shower. That was a little weird to me. But, uh we didn't really go over the stories, but that was exactly what I have written down was here. It? <laughs> there was one odd teacher, and it was what you said, uh, you had to take this shower. Now, I asked my wife, did they make you take the showers after the gym? No, they didn't over there. No? Oh. Now, I don't know if it was this one teacher, which you said you had. Yes. I think it was this one teacher's own special rule. Could be. Because he went up and down those showers, making sure everybody was going in the shower. He he went back and forth like it like it was the military. Certain walk about it, like his hands were behind him, right? Walking back and forth, just making sure you did everything that was uh, required by now, him. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, it seemed like after he checked to make sure everybody was uh, in there, had their showers. He went in the office, and for some reason, the gym teacher's office has had a giant glass yes, panel in a circular area, and he seemed to travel to like certain aisles, which maybe were his favorites, so he could see them coming out of the shower. Bob? 
Okay. It did seem like he had his favorite aisles, though. And this was a terrible experience when you're going from the nice Maywood school with all your friends. And very early on in there, in the gym class, there was a big ruckus. Uh oh. There was like two aisles of showers and a, that terrible wooden seat yes. in between yes. where everybody set their bare asses on. <laughs> And then there were, luckily it was cut off, there was only, the showers were only there for the people in that aisle. Right. So luckily you didn't have to see the people down a ways. Yep. Yep. But I heard a big ruckus uh -oh. coming down a couple aisles. So I got, I go, I got to see what the heck's going on down there. I go down, they're making fun of this kid down there. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking, it's one of my friends from uh, Maywood. Oh no. Michael. Oh, and he's in there, and they're making fun of him because he has a big black hairy bush. Only, only so many times that I am going to tell Bob. You may want to edit some of this out, right? But you know what? I'm not saying it. So you go ahead. Uh, right. I'm just gonna have a sip here. Go ahead. <laughs> Try not to say something that's gonna make me but, choke up. <laughs> it's very, uh, you know, uh, shocking. It was shocking to turn the corner and see one of your old friends from uh, uh, Maywood there uh, uh, naked for one thing, and then being harassed because of uh, he was a little premature. A little advanced. Well, right. He was advanced. Right. Okay. Uh, most of the people were not as advanced, apparently. Uh, luckily, I don't remember people making fun of each other's organs. I don't either. I don't remember. <laughs> they, I think that. they stayed away from that. Yeah, we we must have all been at least average for that age, <laughs> right? Except for the uh, you know Thatchery, mm -hmm. of, uh, Mr. Ruth. Oh, oh God! That, I never heard <laughs> See, that one. Those bad stories from those showers, bringing back your memory day of. Uh, you had the same memory, though. I didn't bring it up of the right. teacher walking back and forth. Oh, yeah. None of this. We haven't practiced any of these stories before. No. Other right. than we've told some of them uh, throughout the years. Right. I don't believe I ever told them. No. We, I don't think we uh, told that one before. No. Now, I'm sitting there in seventh grade uh, homeroom early on. Okay. And this uh, refers to a novelty hit of the day, uh, this story. I'm sitting there, and next to me is uh, Candy. Okay. She's sitting there and uh, talking about uh, her activities on the weekend. Mm-mm. No going. <laughs> Bob, get ready. <laughs> and uh, she is uh, talking about all her friends are having a party, and they all got naked and running through the streets oh. of the neighborhood. I get uh, it. The streak. Ray Stevens? Ray Stevens, the streak, was being relayed right mm -hmm. in my, uh, I didn't know uh, that it was. <laughs> oh, yes, they call him the streak. <laughs> look at that, look at that. But uh, there, the interesting feet. story from seventh grade. Wow. And she was cute. Yeah, Candy was very cute. And, uh, oh, we've told this many times, but it bears repeating, Dave. Bear? <laughs> Bear. <laughs> Uh, we had a, a guy in our class, Dave Butler. <laughs> <laughs> right? You never witnessed this, did you? I don't think so. No. He would be in the science class. I remember this one. I couldn't get down as low in the old show, but maybe I can here. Oh, I can do it here. He would do, get down on the table and put his chin right on the table and put his hands up, and he would be like a spider or something. And he would walk along, and he would go, We don't know why. <laughs> we don't know why. It was funny. <laughs> we don't know why he did that. I, don't, I never saw him do that. <laughs> uh, often, I, I would just want to mind my own business and try and get through the day. Right. I was just going to say, you just want to get to school, even the sometimes the bus. Was, was was not the most fun place to be on. So if you could get the trip over, there's a sigh of relief when you, you know, got off the bus, and then the whole, then the hell day started, and you just wanted to get to class and do what you gotta do and get home. 
So go ahead. Did you have any bad stories on the bus while we're talking yeah, about people those? just throwing stuff from the back of the bus? I had a bus driver that was brutal. He used to if if the kids got out of hand, he would pull off the side of the road and run down the aisle screaming at him and threatening to beat the crap out of him. I don't remember who this guy was, but he kind of had an Elvis look to him. Had oh. the hair slicked back, but he was oh, if you got out of line, yeah, he was he was stopping that bus. He didn't care, which I guess was kind of a good thing. <laughs> yeah, in the old day, you could be beat up the kids and right. slap them around. Oh, that you can't do today. I don't remember what class it was or what what year it was. I remember getting hit in the face by a teacher throwing a. It's an art teacher. Uh -huh. I was talking in class to someone, and I saw something go whizzing past my face. And I looked, and as I turned this way, a heavy wet, a heavy sponge doused in water. Clipped me right in oh, the face. Geez. Chipped a tooth. Oh, God. But she was mad because I was, I was talking in class. But I don't remember what grade that was. Huh. It wasn't high school. Definitely not high school. Hmm. You can't do that today. No, you can't. There's too many phones. We didn't have phones, remember, back no. then, where people can pull out phones and record what's going on. Right. What's as long as we're on the bus thing, though. Another Dave story. Uh-oh. Uh, this was a gem. <laughs> Uh, fun riding the bus. We had the buses, and it was usually lucky. Very high back seats. Yes. So what Dave would do uh, at the beginning, it, when he was picked up in the morning, was hock up a loogie. I was just going <laughs> to say this. Oh my God. I was just going to say this story. This story, or did you have one of these, or this? I don't think it was him. No. But I had. I go ahead. Let's see if this is okay. the same. All right. He oh my God. Hock up the loogie on the high uh, seat. Yep. And he would let it drip, drip down, down and to the end. And right before we got to school, when it was full chunk, <laughs> he would take that and throw it up in front. <laughs> Poor victim. I always sat behind Dave. That's yeah, smart. But uh, he's not getting. He's, he's really not getting a good reputation here. <laughs> There's more to come. No, come on. <laughs> Poor, yes, I remember someone doing that. But they what they would do is hawk the loogie up and then just see how far down it would hang and swing back and forth when the bus would take turns, oh. all that kind of stuff. Was that on the seat or the ceiling? Um, wherever they could get it to stick. Okay. Tried for the ceiling. Sometimes that was a little too high, but mm. yeah. God, the good old days. Oh. I don't like this show. <laughs> Is it bringing back famous? I, no. I just remember, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The yeah. thing is, though, I think the Last couple of months were, were pretty good, where we all got together. I really didn't know you until that uh, library class, mm -hmm. or whatever we were doing in there, study hall, right. and Jim Moore, and Dave Stotts, mm -hmm. and a few others. Uh, became friends there, at, right at the very end, and I'm sticking to this thing here. These, uh, by the way, are from the 20th reunion we had. Oh, is it? I grabbed a couple of these. Okay. I say we'll be picking it up in the next show. <laughs> the New Media Zone has been a Cable 2000 production.